Hi there, everybody. This is Austin of the Best I Can Afford Antiques channel. Um, you know, you know, I haven't been doing this very long, and uh, one of my concerns has always been that, you know, as an amateur, um, you know, I'd have like professionals coming to my page and telling me that I was wrong about everything, and you know, <laughs> I mean, obviously, you know, I'm going out on a limb trying to learn all about this stuff and uh, make videos that are educational and informative, maybe even a little bit fun. And, uh, you know, I hope I've been doing that. And it seems like I have because I've had, uh, I've had several people that are much better than me at this stuff, you know, comment on my videos and, and be nice about them. You know, I've never, I've never once had a person who was very good at, uh, like an art expert of any sort come to my page and say, nope, you are wrong <laughs> and and that's pretty nice now I bring that up because mr. Peter Combs you know he uh he watches some of my videos which I mean there's about a million there's about a million better things he could do with his time than watch my videos I think uh, you know that's my being self-deprecating but uh but yeah I'm just honored to have people like that come to my channel and and you know not just outright call me a fool <laughs> I really, I really, uh, I not only appreciate that, but I, I feel like, you know, maybe I'm doing the right thing. So in that vein, Mr. Combs actually suggested that I do a video that explains the difference between, um, <clears throat> Cloisonne, uh, Champlevé, and Plique Jour. So without further ado, let's, um, let's look at that. So I've got two little cloisonne pieces. I've chosen these because of uh, a few different things. First, they're sort of easy to manipulate. You know, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to have a 20 inch vase out here right now. And I thought, um, you know, we'd actually, we'd actually benefit from a little damage on a piece. Um, okay, okay. So here we have a little bit of damage. This is a piece of cloisonne. So in that damage, we're actually fortunate enough to be able to see the wires that are present in the work. You see at the point of damage there, where uh, you can actually see those wires coming through. So I mean, I paid like $12 for this. So, so if anything, it's going to help us learn a little more about cloisonne, which I think is pretty neat. And this is a Kyoto style um, cloisonne. Uh, Kogo, I think. Koro? Kogo? It's a, it's a little box. It's a little trinket dish. But this is definitely Japanese um, Meiji era Kyoto school cloisonne. And Kyoto school a lot of the time is denoted by these small cloison swirls. You know what? I'm sorry. I'm getting off track here because we're looking at a thing and I, uh, you know, I don't, I don't write all this stuff down so I, I get a little tipsy. So uh, yeah, you can see the wires. Now those are tiny wires flattened and stuck edgeways on an object. So that is the definition of cloisonne. Small wires, well any size wires, flattened and then put onto a metal base to separate either enamel, gemstones, um, uh, glass. So as long as it's on a metal base and separated with wires, <clears throat> that's cloisonne and this is a this is another example where you can see very fine wire work and detailing usually in the glint of light you can see the wires the best so obviously very fine wire work and the reason we're looking at this uh, smaller stuff is because we want to be able to see um, the wires and the differentiation in the thickness between cloisonne and champlevé. Because where cloisonne is wires flattened out, <clears throat> champlevé isn't wires. They take a they take a metal object, and when they form that object, either when they cast it or they carve it out, they integrate the layers, or I mean the um, partitions, in the object of the body. Or I mean the body of the object. So um, so here we have a, a Meiji, maybe even late Edo style, or era um, okamono of a small dog 
wearing a traditional Japanese costume. So it's pretty rare to find a uh, okimono, a small bronze animal uh, with enamel on it. So this is a pretty interesting piece actually. But this is Champlevé and uh, instead of having wires, the partitions are actually part of the body of the thing. So whether they're cast into it when it's made or whether they're carved into it after it's made, that's Champlevé. Let me, I don't know why we're having such a difficult time focusing up here. Okay. Now you can see how thick those partitions are, and this is actually sort of a little masterwork of uh, Champlevé. So, I mean, that's one thing to look for if there is a certain thickness to the uh, partitions. It might be Champlevé. Uh, another important thing to look for is obviously the body of the object itself. Um, whether it's brass or bronze or copper, uh, a lot of the time the body of that item will be worked, okay? So if you see some like carving or uh, casting that's just the metal itself and then you see enamel, a lot of the times that'll be Champlevé. I don't often see um, a naked body on... Am I allowed to say that? I'm talking about a vase, YouTube. Um, I'm talking about the body of an object. <laughs> so, an unadorned or unattired body of an object. So, please uh, don't, don't like take the money you don't give me from me, please. Um, so, so, I've never seen a piece of cloisonne. Now, that's not to say they don't exist. Uh, open work cloisonne exists. Uh, we're, getting a little, we're getting a little off track. Cloisonne. <laughs> cloisonne. Champlevé. And then we've got something called plique jour. Now, plique jour is um, sort of like stained glass. The main difference between plique jour and the other two arts is that you will be able to see light passing through um, plique jour whether it's made with enamels, gemstones, or glass, which this is glass. Uh, this is a relatively modern Chinese piece of glass. And, uh, and that's the difference. Um, now, I don't have a nice piece of plique jour. There are French pieces of plique jour that are made from enamels and jewels and uh, real silver and gold. So, I mean, you'll just have to kind of take this part with a grain of salt. But if you can see light shining through the back of the object, and it's got metal and either glass, gemstones, or enamels, and you can see light passing through it, that's likely plique jour, which I think even a lot of costume jewelry would count as, because you can kind of see like the framework, but then light shines through the gems. So yeah, um, I hope this has been helpful. Um, we're obviously going to have to do a video sometime on the different types of cloisonne too. Um, for example, there's a uh, open work, there's removed wire, there's wireless, there's uh, there's all sorts of different stuff. And uh, I hope to keep teaching you guys about this stuff, and I hope to keep learning about it, and I hope to keep talking to people who uh, enjoy my videos and, and enjoy learning and, and like life and stuff. So yeah, this is Austin at the Best I Can Afford Antiques channel, telling you the differences between uh, Cloisonne, Champlevé, and Plique Jour. So hopefully this has been educational. Feel free to um, comment any additional information I may have left out. You know, I, like I say all the time, you know, I don't have a script for any of these. So, so I just kind of come in here and wing it. And uh, hopefully I remembered to say everything I needed to say. And and if not, we'll come back and we'll uh, we'll uh, what's the word when you corrections? But uh, <laughs> there's a fancy word for it. Anyway, this is Austin. Everybody have a beautiful day. Almost Christmas. Uh, really, I just hope everybody stays safe, fat, and happy. Uh, I'm rooting for all of you, I promise. I love you guys. This is Austin.